In a landmark achievement for Australia's defence innovation, Raytheon Australia has successfully enabled the launch of the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile from a NASAM's high-mobility launcher mounted on the Hawkeye protected vehicle. This live-fire event, conducted by the 16th Regiment of the Royal Australian Artillery at the Woomera Test Range, marks the first time globally that a Sidewinder, traditionally fired from aircraft, has been deployed from such a platform. This breakthrough underscores a strategic move toward more adaptable and mobile air defense solutions capable of addressing the dynamic nature of modern aerial threats. The ability to fire both AIM-9 Sidewinders and AIM-120 AMROMs from a single, high-mobility vehicle provides the Australian Army with flexible options tailored to specific mission profiles and threat types. The NASAMS, National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, jointly developed by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace and Raytheon, is designed for defending against a variety of aerial threats, including drones, fixed-wing aircraft, and cruise missiles. By incorporating the Sidewinder missile, historically a staple of close-quarters air combat, into a ground-based system, Australia is significantly enhancing its layered air defense capabilities, particularly against low-flying or evasive targets. This capability is the result of over a year and a half of testing and preparation by members of the 111 Battery. The successful test represents a major milestone for the LAN-19 Phase 7B modernization initiative, with Raytheon Australia leading the integration as the primary contractor. Previously, the Army had achieved a successful AMROM firing using the NASAM system in 2023, and this new development expands the versatility of the missile suite. Compared to more static or single munition systems, the dual missile capability housed within the Hawke platform greatly improves tactical responsiveness. The Sidewinder's renowned maneuverability, honed over decades of air to air combat, now offers ground forces a new edge in intercepting agile threats at close range, a role where traditional long range interceptors may falter. This advancement comes at a time of heightened strategic awareness in the Indo Pacific region. As nations across the area enhance their offensive missile capabilities, Australia's decision to invest in highly mobile, multi-missile air defence solutions reflects its broader defence modernisation priorities. The test at Woomera signals a strong commitment to operational readiness and technological adaptability. Beyond the technical implications, the project also highlights the success of local industry collaboration. The NASAM's acquisition under LAN-19 Phase 7B represents a substantial investment in sovereign capability, with Raytheon Australia leading a growing ecosystem of domestic defence suppliers. Continued success of these integrations is expected to shape future procurement and expansion across additional Army units. Ultimately, transforming the Sidewinder from an airborne interceptor into a ground-launched weapon represents a leap forward in battlefield adaptability. This milestone solidifies Australia's commitment to developing integrated air and missile defence networks that are fast, flexible, and formidable against the full spectrum of aerial threats in a rapidly evolving strategic environment.